Welcome. From is an iPhone 8 with an iOS 12 point uh, something. And today I'll show you how to jailbreak the device. Now, going straight at it, um, this process will work for majority of the devices. So basically iOS 12 uh, all the way up to the newest one, which I believe is 14. That's why I'm not really bothering specifying which iOS version that is. It doesn't really matter here. So uh, to get started, there's a couple things that we'll need. A cable that you connect to your PC, a PC, and also a USB stick right here. Um, now the USB stick can be as big as a one gig. Um, anything above it is kind of redundant. You only need about 100 megabytes space on it. So, uh, but it does need to be um, basically empty. So uh, you will need to basically put in a program on it as a bootable software which I believe requires you to, in a way, format it, so keep that in mind. But once you have it, um, we can begin the process. So number one, we're going to go to our web browser, to the 3U website, as you can see, uh, 3U.com, and from there you want to download their software. So it's right over here, simply click the download, and save it. As you can see, I already have it, actually two of them, let's do it once more, just so you can see that I'm saving it up now already also installed it so there is no need for me to do that um, so once you install it simply search for it so through you and as you can see you'll have the three U tools okay so this regard it's still downloading I already like I said installed it before so that's why I can open it up but once you download it simply install it as well and then open it so from there we're gonna grab our USB stick and let's plug it into our computer There we go. Now, by default, uh, when you plug it in, um, you should see your USB stick, but if you already put in uh, the software on it, uh, your stick actually won't be showing up, as you will see right now. It's plugged in right now, and as you can see, it doesn't actually show up here, so uh, that is something that I'm gonna show you at the end, how to fix. Uh, so, yeah. So, once you open up the software and you have the stick in your computer, go to the flash and jailbreak, right here then select jailbreak tap on uh, make uh, chakran jailbreak usb flash device uh, from drop, drop down menu select your usb uh, sd card as you can see that's the only one that i have accessible right here and select start making and as you can see there is, there is the information all data on the device uh, will be cleared so like i said if you have anything on that uh, stick that you're going to be using for this uh, back it up beforehand everything from it will be completely gone so from there, let's just select start. Um, okay, so apparently the fail error comes up all the time, um, or at least once when, whenever you try it. So just simply go back to it, start again. And as you can see, now it goes fine. And once it's done, simply close it and close this. So the USB is now ready to go. And from here, uh, we will need to power off the computer. So I'm gonna go select the uh, restart. And from here, uh, you want to start pressing F11. I believe it's F11, depending also on what computer and motherboard you have in your computer. Sometimes it's something like F8 or 9, uh, sometimes F10. Uh, for me, I believe it's F11, but I guess we'll see. So simply start just pressing the key constantly once it actually restarts because right now there we go so right now i'm pressing f11 constantly and it looks like it's supposed to be f2 on here oh okay so it looks like it automatically boot through f11 uh now i'm gonna quickly actually show you uh something uh, that you couldn't really see. Uh, for me, after pressing F11, it automatically boots into the USB, which might not be the case for everyone. So I quickly restart the computer. And press F2, I believe it was. Yeah, so it's boot many. So uh, some of you might see basically this right here. So what we want to do is 
basically boot into our USB, which will be, where is it? It looks like we only have to actually change the settings right here to prioritize the uh, USB first, which let me quickly find it. The advanced frequency. Nope, not here. Uh, now, if you're wondering, uh, the, the settings on how you navigate through here are basically all over here. So arrows, enter, uh, plus, minus, system yep there we go so there are the boot options uh, priority so we have boot option one and it's the selected to be a SD card at the moment as you can see um, so with this being set as a first option it will prioritize whatever it's plugged in uh, that's why it automatically booted into the USB but if there is nothing plugged in there it will then resort to the second option which will be Windows for me. So from here you simply change it. Um, it's probably going to be the other way around so you, Windows will be first one and then USB will be second. So simply check it in and that's about all you have to do here. Um, so yeah and from there simply go to save and exit and select save and uh, exit setup and let's press F11 or actually just as a okay so it automatically boots I didn't even press anything let's give it a moment and it goes through the dialog boxes right here and from here again we're going to be using uh, when uh, the arrow keys to navigate through here as you can see so while you see uh, this open right here the check run uh, software simply plug in your device and as you can see start became clickable so uh, I'm gonna mention right off the bat if you're using any kind of newer version as you can see for me right now it's the iOS 12.3.1 but if you're using uh, something like, I believe like the newest one which is 14 14 I don't know exactly uh, if you're one of those people uh, start will be constantly grayed out till you go into the options right here so I'll select options and enter and from here you want to select the first option allow uh, untested iOS iPad and tvOS versions and once you select it um, basically like this uh, from there go back and start should be accessible from there but like I said uh, my version is completely supported uh, or tested so start is accessible for me when I plug it in. So once it is simply select start, enter, and go to next. And we will need to put in the device into the recovery mode or actually DFU mode, I believe. Uh, but let's see if it's... So as you can see, you can see right now it's doing this on its own. There it is, give us a guide on how to put the device into the DFU mode. So once it's off uh, or in this case in recovery mode what you want to do is hold the uh, power key and a volume down and from there you're gonna let go of the uh, power key and keep holding only volume down and it is quite time sensitive as you can basically see right here so press and hold the side of, uh, and volume key down uh, together for four seconds it doesn't really say four seconds it just says four um, and then release the side button and keep holding the volume down for 10 seconds so you can either press start right there and begin it uh, or just try to do it without actually pressing start that might be easier so i'm gonna grab the phone right now and volume down right here power now i'm not holding it just yet i'm gonna first press start Something like this so now i'm holding it and you have the countdown right here so we're gonna let go of power now and keep holding volume down And it did succeed now if it fails the program will tell you that it didn't work and you can start over again uh, basically the, the, the software puts you straight back into trying it again if you failed I can also see right here it's right now installing the jailbreak and from there you can see that there is a done button or there we go now you can see it it's right here so simply select enter 
and we're done with the jailbreak. And now from here, simply quit it. Not sure if it's gonna restart the computer or not. Looks like it's not gonna restart it, so let's do it manually. I'm also gonna unplug the USB, and like I said, I'm gonna show you how to get back the uh, USB uh, to be actually readable and usable again. So let me unplug this from here. Now, like I said, the jailbreak is completely finished. This is more of a finished up process with the USB. Okay, so from here I'm gonna re-plug the USB. There we go. And what you wanna do is open up a disk utility. So let's see, I believe this is this. Uh, create and format hard disk partitions. So let's open that up. I'll give it a moment, it takes a bit of time for it to actually load, as you can see. I mean, normally it wouldn't, but this computer is kind of slow. There we go, so I reopened it. And from here we can see the disk 1, uh, that is the removable one, as you can see right here. Which is our, uh, SS, or our SD card, which has uh, been formatted and right now if we go into our computer there we go once is enough there we go I can see that it's still not visible right here um, so to combat this simply can basically select let's see um, properties actually there we go can I actually do anything Let's go simple new volume, and there it is, 120 something gigabytes, cool. And let's finish it up. Format, okay, and close. And now if we go back, you can see it right over here. So there is our SD card now, and it just disappeared. Let me try that again. And there it is. So you can see that it is working now fine. We just needed to format it. But yeah, so that was just, how I wanna show how to get back the usability of that as a USB stick. So that is in a way how you would jailbreak your device and also well, fix your USB after that. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.